that's the damn bike I'm using now. I'm using it for last now. But Brompton, heck yeah, giant for watching this. I don't mind a bike from you guys. <laughs>
is $270 off my asking price. It's a spoiler, but since I reviewed the best place you can get a graphics card in Simlim, I don't know whether you will continue watching, but probably just for the entertainment value. At Submarine, they only sell PCs with their full builds, but one thing to note, their salespeople are extremely friendly, so you definitely have a good time while talking to them. Now when it comes to Infinity computers, only the 3080 Ti was available. I didn't ask and it was... Personally, I feel like 3080 Ti isn't worth it. I would go maximum up to 3080. Beyond that, the price increases. It's just ridiculous in my books. Over here, 1650 is going for 429. It's 129 of my asking price. And as for the other AMD cards, they have a 6600 going for 869 and the 6600 XT game for 980. For Fuel, you can only get the RTS cuts when you buy their full builds. And for the two AMD cuts available, they have the 6600 at 829 and the 6700 XT at 1499. It's been tough luck so far. It's either with full build or whatever that's available standalone. The prices are so inflated and are run by comparison. This one's a tough point. At PC teams, basically they only sell all graphics card installed with the full builds. If I want to get any like, kind of graphics card standalone, they ask me to look at the website. I looked at it. I can look at it through my phone, which is what I was doing in store. But everything is just crazy overpriced. No way in the hell I'm gonna buy this. I don't think any of you guys want to as well. I'm to come to the floor, the last two stores I'm gonna go for, Dynacore. And I think it's this girl. I actually like the next shop a lot. It's Dynacore, but sadly they don't sell any of the GPU standalone. All comes in full builds. I understand because probably they want to give their shoppers the best friend for the buck and yet not try to sell the guys who want to scalp and things like that. At Briscom, it's a pity because the staff are really friendly, but everything is way too overpriced. I'll take for instance, 3070 EVGA model is going for 1520. And the 3080 Strix model is going for 2699. As for AMD cards, they have the 6600 going for 75 and the 6600 XT going for $985. Last store, trade pack. This thing proves to be elusive. I think I've got it on my way there. At trade pack, for AMD cards, they have RTX 2060 for 3.9. RTX 3080, it's 2999, which is crazy in my books. And for AMD cards, they have the 6600 XT going for 999. I strongly do recommend buying a trade pack. I don't know why ZX Tech recommends them, but their GPU prices are crazily insane. He'll be a fucking fool to buy from them, man. Well, we have it. We won't be able to find any decent priced GPU in Simon Square. Fair better. Trying to scout it up on Carazone, but beware. Always ask for your local set to receive. The receipt matching the serial number. And yeah, that's the safest bet. For the surprise, I'm gonna collect something that I ordered it, that I failed to collect the last time. I managed to snap those two boxes of Sambika tarts. My wife will be so pleased. She's just been really a fan of those tarts. With that, we're gonna end this, send this car off, pack it in, and see whether we make any payment. And yeah, I don't think we need to top up any fuel because the fuel length is above 50%. As I said in the earlier video, if it falls below 25%, you need to top it up to at least 25% using the included card in the car. That's a bit troublesome. If you're like me, I only have half an hour to return the car. That will actually eat into my travel time and I'll probably have to pay late charges because of that. So, come to the end of the trip, I return that car and turns out, I didn't have to pay a dime for this ride. So I really thank GetGo for sponsoring this trip. This wouldn't be possible without you. If you're looking at this, you know what to do. I have some ideas for the next ride. If you guys like what you can see, be sure to tune in for the next one. Until then, this is Clarence from Asian Tech Guy. Check it out. <laughs>